Hi folks, Terry back. Today is March 25th, 2023. Uh, this is the motor out of that Lionel 2026 that I picked up. I did the video on it on be St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, the last video. And after about 10 minutes of running, it stopped and just buzzed. Uh, wouldn't do anything. Um, so... I opened it up, look at it, and I discovered that this wire here that goes from the coil to the four fingers in the E unit and versus head broke off. So I took the E unit out, attempted to solder it, was going to fix it, but after getting the E unit apart, I noticed the fingers on the top for this brush and also the bottom fingers, the two fingered contacts were worn down to the point that they weren't they're only making intermittent contact with the drum and the drum itself the two little pegs that hold it in the you know, allow it to rotate were worn almost down to nothing so that the drum was actually sitting lopsided and there was no fit so after all that's drawn I decided um, the best thing to do would be to rebuild the e unit I'll have to get a kit to do that at a later date so I bypassed it the, you know, took it out, let's see, I removed it, and I actually bypassed it. Uh, similar to when you bypass a Mark's E, you know, just a little bit different wiring. Uh, I have the schematic here. Um, I'll bring it over if you can see it. Uh, there is the schematic. What you do is you're going to take the brush that is tied in to the same, to the four-finger contact in the E unit and also to the motor coil. You're going to disconnect both those wires from the E unit and splice them together, which I have done. That's this brush right right here, this back brush, actually goes to is placed to the motor coil. Now the field coil is grounded on the other side. Then this brush here goes to track power. And it's also where you tie in your smoke unit and headlight. I don't have the headlight connected right now. The smoke unit's not connected because I don't have smoke pellets. And eventually I will get a fluid conversion kit for that. And then that'll be operating. But for right now, the unit is bypassed so it will only run forward. And I'll demonstrate that for you now. Turn the power on. Now, as you see, zoom, zoom. From sitting and just buzzing to running. As I said, now this only runs forward, which for now that works for me. It gives me a working motor, a running locomotive. Back else, so we don't fly off the track. And, but it's very simple to do. As I said, I'm going to try and stop it. Go right around here and stop it again. If, up here. So if your E unit fails, or if you get a motor that doesn't have an E unit, and you want to change that, watch my finger in the picture. Uh, as I said, this brush goes to the, which is connected to the four fingers in the E unit, along with, next to the field coil. You cut, disconnect the field coil from the four fingers. This brush, tie them, splice them together. Then this other brush goes to power and also gets spliced in with your headlight and or smoke unit. If when you do this it doesn't, it runs reverse, just switch these two brush wires. If it doesn't run at all, then you're going to have to run a ground from here, this the other side of the coil to a bare spot on the frame. And that's about it. A note though with doing this, this will only work on pre-war and post-war Lionel motors up to about 1969. If you get into the MPC era, it's spotty. If your motor has a can-type motor, like the modern motor, D-scan, or if the E unit is controlled by a circuit board, this will not work. You can't buy, this bypass trick won't work. Uh, so I just wanted to pass that on. But on the older vintage motors, anything pre-war, or up to po post war up to 1969, this will work. It gives you a running locomotive. You can bypass the unit just like you can a Marx motor. And as you see, it runs.
Ford only, but it's a running locomotive. So I'm going to get this back into the shell and you know, hook the headlight up, put everything back in the shell, and I'll have a running locomotive. Now I'll do a follow-up video on this later. Get, let you see it pulling some cars. But that's it for now. Hope you found that informative. Uh, I will post a link for that uh, E-Unit Bypass, the schematic, the site website, in the description so you can check it out yourself. Uh, like I said, I only have those wires twisted temporarily because it's just a temporary connections right now because when I do get the E-Unit Rebuild Kit, then I can undo it and hook everything back up uh, the way it was originally. So, hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, please let me know in the comments. Uh, so, till next time, that's it from Terry's O Gauge Trains. Bye.